Hey, what's up? It's Six Tayo. Today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock your iPhone 4 on a uh, baseband 041108 or 421101 or uh, yeah, 41201. I mean, <laughs> um, so here I'm just going to go ahead and show you. This is uh, iPhone 4, as you see, Timo right there. And let's see, let's go to settings, general. About it's 501, and uh, you can see this very well. 41108. Now, this is not a factor unlocked iPhone, it is uh, simply just an ATT iPhone. Alright, and how I'm going to show you it's not factor unlock. I'm going to put this uh, simple mobile card into it. Now, this unlock isn't actually a real unlock, only because uh, every time you have to um, change your SIM card, uh, you do have to redo this uh, method. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you. There's no Gevi card or anything in it. Real quick, try popping the SIM card out. Maybe find my little SIM pin thing. But, um, whatever SIM card that you program this to use with, it will work perfectly fine just as a factory unlocked iPhone would. Okay? So, take out the SIM card. See, there's no Gavi card there at all. And if I put the uh, simple mobile card in, it will just simply not work. No service. So basically, um, I'm just going to do this real quick. Deactivate. Oh, okay, it's not activated yet. Okay, so we're good then. So um, what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to add two repos if you don't have them already. And this is basically just going to show you how to um, how to change your SIM card out. And um, also, activating with Simple Mobile is just the same as activating with uh, T-Mobile, because they're the same tower, same everything. So, um, two repos you're going to want to add. It's called uh, see repo.bingner.com, or the Bingner repo. It's a R-E-P-O dot B-I-N-G-N-E-R dot com forward slash. Then also, uh, Cydia.exiles. Uh, dot com forward slash or the Xlease repo. It's a um, Cydia S Y D I A uh, dot X S E L L I Z E dot com forward slash. And um, what we're going to want to add from these two repos, once this is done reloading, from the Binger repo, we're going to want to add S A M or the SAM uh, press as well. Once you add SAM, uh, SAM, the Subscriber Artificial Module, it will also add Stockify, SAM Prefs, and AC Utility. And uh, from Exilies, which you can just go and search, type iFile. Now you can choose if you want to download the crack version, which is the exact same as the paid version. Um, I download the crack version because I do this on so many different devices, I'm not going to pay 4 bucks each time just to download it. But um, if you're going to use this yourself and you have some kind of moral issues with that, then go ahead and pay for it. Otherwise, you're just fine. So with those downloaded, we're going to go to an application called Sampress, which will look just like this, this little SIM card looking thing. And um, first off, when you go into Utilities, it's going to say... Um, deactivate iPhone, just go ahead and select that. This one is already deactivated, technically. And um, what we're going to do now is go to more information. Now, here you should notice that SIM details and SAM details are a little bit different. Um, your ICC ID will be the, exactly the same. However, um, and that's just your, uh, your SIM card number, which is um, what you would activate your service with. Um, 
let's see your IMSI uh, will be different so what you're going to want to do you want to select your SAM details of the IMSI select all and copy then after you copy that make sure you copy that actually spoof real sim to SAM so now they're both uh, exactly the same go to method go to country carrier go back um, I already have United States and T-Mobile USA selected uh, but whatever carrier you have um, you're going to want to select that and then the SIM ID for T-Mobile USA is 310260 so for simple mobile slash T-Mobile users that's what you would select now um, let's see the way you can uh, tell is uh, just by the IMSI which is the first six uh, numbers of the IMSI so um, yeah so this one would be 310260 can I just figure that out on my own so after that's selected uh, go to manual and the under method then select IMSI select all paste and uh, pretty much what you're gonna what that does is uh, puts the um, original IMSI that's not on the SIM card because what you did is you spoofed the SIM card basically then uh, next what we're gonna go ahead and do go to utilities and revert to stock down lock or stock lock down to stock I guess I guess it takes a little uh, second I guess I crashed the app a little bit. <laughs> oh well. And we're just gonna quit that. Should be fine. I mean, if anything, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead. Select all. Copy. Spoof real. Cause I guess that reverted it. Then IMSI, select all, paste, country carrier, get that selected. You go back to auto detect, and then we're going to keep that enabled. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is connect to iTunes. Without iTunes open, go ahead and connect your. Uh, I just wanted to make sure iTunes is closed. Go ahead and connect your iPhone. Open iTunes. You should get an error, but it may also just activate on its own anyway. It's being a little slow. Okay. And if it does happen to activate on its own, you may see carrier signal. But um, so you go ahead and deactivate the iPhone again. Quit. Let's see. Go ahead and turn uh, SAM off by just uh, deselecting enable. Open iTunes. Now I may be wrong about this, so you might want to just select manual. If that doesn't work, that's what I'm going to do, basically. Okay, just activate it on its own. Wait your signal. And there you go. Simple mobile. Alright, and now I'll just go ahead and show you that this is a 100% untethered unlock. 
And you can also show you that it is on a zero four eleven zero eight again. Four eleven oh eight. See no Gevy card. Pop it in, and I'll just read. Go turn airplane mode on. Turn it back off, and it will simply just connect. Go into about. We should say a uh, carrier 11.0. Now, um, also for T-Mobile and Simple Mobile users, um, I'll just go ahead and show you really quick how to enable MMS and um, yeah, well, basically MMS for a 615 baseband users or non 615 baseband users that uh, don't want to use 615. Um, this will also work for GPS as well. So for simple mobile, you're going to want to, well, actually not. Here's the source. Uh, Beta.laymobile.com uh, com forward slash repo repo forward slash. Simply edit add that. And then um, for T-Mobile users, you're going to want to select the T-Mobile MMS fix. For simple mobile users, you're going to want to select the first simple mobile uh, MMS fix. Um, you can select actually either one of these, but uh, that's, you know, I always install the first one. And um, for APN settings, uh, how to edit those. Because uh, on the iPhone 4, the first time you install them, it will just work um, the first time. On the 3G and 3GS, it may or may not work uh, the first time, so you just have to reinstall the second time. And uh, how I have the APN settings here, these are for uh, T-Mobile USA, and it's at epc.tmobile.com for each APN field. Entering the internet tethering, simply go back, go back in the network, sell your data network, and you will, oh, go down. You should see personal hotspot. Go into that, turn it on, turn it off. You will now have a personal hotspot in your main settings, and you can use it free or whatever your data network is. And um, yeah, you should see everything filled in here. For simple mobile, you're just going to enter, well, not in username, but for APN. Uh, let's see, S I M P L E, just like that. But do not enter anything in the username or password. Okay, so um, so if this helped you out at all, uh, comment, rate, subscribe in the box below, and uh, follow me on Twitter, at Sixtalio. If you have any issues with this at all, don't hesitate to uh, PM me or DM me through Twitter. Um, again, this is Sixtalio. I'm going to go ahead and sign out now. It is uh, 2.22 a.m. So, yeah. All right.